Hello everyone and welcome to Blaugrana Everything and welcome back to the channel and once again we are back at it with a video previewing Wednesday night's Copa del Rey quarterfinal match against Granada at the Estadio Nuevo Los Carmenes in what is another single leg tie with the customary late kickoff time and hopefully not one that goes to extra time. Yeah, extra time be gone. Well, like we usually do with our match previews, we're going to look at the form of the teams, then talk squad news and possible lineups, and we'll take a look at which players to look out for, and I will make my match prediction. So, if this is your first time tuning in, this is how we roll around here with match previews. Also, if this is your first time here, just, you know, like, subscribe, and be sure to hit that little bell icon for more content like this. So without further ado, let's look at the current form of the two teams. Now this time around the quarterfinal draw has served up a fixture that will at face value look like a foregone conclusion to most. But it would be terribly unwise to write off El Grana and I will tell you exactly why. You see coming into this game, Granada do not boast the same sort of form that their more illustrious Catalan opponents have been in. Whilst Barca have won all but one of their last five games, Granada have lost one, drawn two and won two. The two wins just so happen to have come in the Copa del Rey against lower league opposition. Now you're probably thinking that what I'm saying doesn't help the argument for not underestimating Granada and probably more so when I add in the fact that Granada played a home game against Barcelona on the 9th of January not too long ago and they lost that game 4-0. To stack the odds even further against Granada, Barcelona played 9 games in January and they won all but one of those games. But despite all of this, I would still urge caution for Barcelona, you know despite them being in their best form of the season and Granada being in arguably their worst bit of form thus far in this campaign, one ought to take a much broader look at Granada's exploits this season, you know, beyond just January. For starters, despite appearances, Granada are comfortably a top 10 La Liga team. They sit in 8th in the La Liga table. Yeah, not so long ago, that was Barca. Remember those days? Oof. Dark, dark days. Granada are currently ahead of the likes of Athletic Bilbao and Valencia and they're only 3 points behind 6th place Real Sociedad. The same Sociedad that was bossing La Liga just like back in December. Only 3 points ahead of Granada. But like I said, taking an even broader look and looking further back than December, we can see some of Granada's early season performances and they give you the idea that this is a team that is actually capable of pulling off a big upset on their day. Much against what anybody had expected, back in October, Granada put together an impressive run of wins that saw them beat Sevilla, PSV and Hetafe consecutively. This was right around the time that Barca could only draw with Sevilla and lose to Hetafe. But above all that, if we look even further back, I'm talking last season, and we take into consideration the encounters between the two sides, you see that at the camp now, Barcelona barely scraped past Granada, winning 1-0, and away from home at Los Carmenes, Barcelona actually lost 2-0 to El Grana. Okay, we were body, toe tagged. We were body backed, dead. So like I said, Granada must not be written off so easily in this encounter. On we shall go now to the squad news and first up, as usual, is the home team. Granada will be able to once again call upon the services of Jan Eteki, who returns from suspension for the showdown, and the midfielder could slot straight back in if Angel Montoro is granted a rest. Neda Lozano and Maxim Gonolons are both injured, but the hosts are otherwise in good shape heading into the quarterfinal. Martinez, their head coach, still has some big calls to make though, given the caliber of the opponent. Alberto Soro and Roberto Sodado who hope to earn starts after finding the back of the net against Naval Canero. That was back in the round of 16 in the Copa del Rey, which Granada won 6-0. Also, we expect second choice goalkeeper Aaron Escandel could be given the nod once again ahead of Ray Silva. Barcelona on the other hand welcome back Sergio Busquets from suspension for this tie and he will be expected to start in this encounter. Additionally, Sergio Roberto, Elias Moriba, Miro Lempianic and Ricky Puch will all be hoping to get some much needed minutes. Serginho Des has been in training with the rest of the team but it is unlikely that he will be risked which could mean a return to right back for Sergio Roberto. 
but more likely I think it could be Minguesa getting more minutes there, especially after his display against Athletic Club. Like, you know, you don't want to bench a guy after he put out a performance like Minguesa did. Although, having said that, this is Ronald Coleman. He's benched people after having great performances before. Just ask Carlos Slovenia. Oh, so you know this. The usual suspects are unavailable for Barca through injury, those being Gerard Piquet, Felipe Coutinho, and Ansuman Fati. Fati is expected to return towards the end of this month though, whilst Coutinho and PK still have no set date of return. Coleman will put out a strong team but is likely to make changes regardless with Neto, Clemmer Longley, Ricky Pooch and Martin Brathwaite in desperate need of minutes. With that in mind, I expect the two teams to sit up as follows. Granada should sit up with a 4-2-3-1 with the following players. Ingo Escandel, the back four of Diaz, Duarte, Perez, and Neva, with a double pivot of Ateki and Herrera, with Soro, Vico, and Marquez playing ahead of them, and leading the front line, Roberto Soldado. Meanwhile, I expect Barcelona to return to the 4-3-3 system with the following starting lineup in Go Neto, a back four of Minguesa, Araujo, Longley, and Fiopo, with a midfield three of Busquets, Pjanic and Roberto, I think, and a front three of Trincao, Dembele and Brathley, again, I think. Now that we know how both teams will set up, let's now talk about the ones to watch. As the hosts, El Grana will be expected to take a bit more of the initiative than they usually would in this encounter, especially with this being a knockout tie. Key to the Nazaris pulling this off will be none other than their veteran target man, Roberto Soldado. In his last encounter with La Blaugrana, the former Spain number 9 did not cover himself in glory as he personally spurned several promising chances. He will be keen to set the record straight and there could be no better opportunity to do so than Wednesday night's knockout tie. For Barcelona, meanwhile, they will be looking for their strikers to make the difference for them on the night. Whereas I have left out all of Barca's regular front three from my predicted starting 11, it's very unlikely Coman will rest all three as he has said that he will take the Copa seriously. Due to that, I will add Messi and Griezmann alongside Martin Brathwaite as the players to watch for Barcelona on Wednesday night. With the likes of Frankie de Jong and Pedri very likely to be rested, the honors will be very much upon these three forwards as they pose the most threat to the opposition. Taking all this into consideration, my prediction for this game is a win for Barcelona. As I pointed out earlier, Granada must not be underestimated by Barcelona. Nonetheless, I expect Barca to create more chances and eventually score more goals over the course of 90 minutes than Granada. That does it for my match preview. What are your thoughts on the upcoming game? Who do you think will be the game changers who will come out on top? Thank you for tuning in and do not forget to like and subscribe to Blaugrana Everything for more content. Have a great day and Forza Basa.